like many other sim racers that are just starting out, my journey into this crazy expensive, especially nowadays, this crazy expensive hobby began with an entry-level force feedback wheel from Logitech, more specifically a G29. I got it in about May of 2019, and I've loved it ever since. It's never given me any issues, but the opportunity to upgrade it presented itself, and I thought, okay, this is going to be my only chance, and I grabbed it before anyone else did. No, everything I've done with this G29, all the races, all the mods that I've done to it, I can't just swap it out and forget about it. No, that, that ain't how I roll. It deserved a proper farewell. For me, that equals going to Lamar with a 787B, doing an endurance race, since it's somehow still the most popular video on my channel right now. Thank you guys so much for that. It made even more sense for me to make this combination my farewell for my trusty Logitech. So, without further ado, sit back, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy the ride. Feels weird to play this game with HUD again. See ya. First flash shift of the day, complete. <laughs> uh, man, I couldn't think of a better way to send off this wheel. <laughs> We're fine. I just realized I gotta try to talk for an hour. That's... Oh, there's gonna be a lot of quiet in this one. I can already tell. Let's just get through the first lap before I really start... talking like an idiot. Just get all the mistakes out of the way early. It's fine. That's why I don't try to adjust things in the middle of the Porsche curves. I just want to adjust my fuel. Give me a straight line. That should be good. Alright, one down. A lot to go. 
guess I should explain the main reason why I chose 787. Hey, this is my favorite Group C car, of course. Second, I just wanted something with an H-pattern shifter, because my new wheel, I don't have a shifter for it yet, so I just wanted to send this one off with something where I can just use the clutch and just have some fun and do things like this. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good old fifth to second downshift? And flat shifts. Meow. We're just gonna ignore the fact that I missed third right there. Almost thought I missed third again. I don't know why it's so fun to flash shift in the fifth, but it is. Oh. Okay, so I started dead last and I'm already up to seventh. I really hope the AI for GT7 are a lot better than they are in sport. And I don't think I'm the only one hoping that. Oh, bad line, bad line. It's kind of weird to drive an old Group C car like this with a GT-style wheel rim. It's just another reason why I decided to upgrade. I wanted something with, where you can swap out wheels, which is something you really can't do on a G29, unless you tear the whole thing apart. Pretty much what I had to do to swap this wheel on here earlier this year. Oh, wait, are my, uh, are my lights on? I don't think I turned on any of my lights. Oh, hello. Lights are on. I don't know if they're really doing much, but... More light is good light, right? I remember one of the first times I did this GT League race, the AI had this really weird bug where they would go into the pits but not refuel, so they would end up just puttering around the track at 50 mile an hour because they had no fuel. And that was about two and a half, maybe three years ago. Whenever the, they brought GT League in, into the game, I think they fixed that since. Hopefully it doesn't happen again today, because that'd be really disappointing. And I'm already up to second, and just flying away from all of them. Good job, AI. Proud of you. Oh, if you've never driven a manual car in a game, you, you've got to give it a try. At least in my opinion, this is one of the most fun things you can do in a racing game. Which is why when I picked out a new wheel, I needed to make sure that it, I could get a clutch and a shifter for it. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I do have a shifter on the way. It's somewhere in Italy right now. Just hope it shows up sometime soon. Because I don't want to go along without doing this. It's, it's too much fun. Oh. There's a racing line in there somewhere. I think fuel is going to run out before the tires wear out, so... I actually can't see my tire wear right now, or at least my rear tire wear, because there's a speaker blocking that chunk of my screen. Yeah, this guy right here is blocking some of my screen. I can always just look over to the recording and catch a glimpse of what the rear tires are up to. They seem fine for now. Man, I love this car. Hopefully when the new shifter gets here, I'm a little more consistent with my shifts. This whole Logitech shifter has served me well over the last few years. Actually, I don't even think I've had this thing three years yet. Nope. About two and a half, 
whole thing has served me well. I just thought it was time to go for something... something higher up. I apologize if any of the volumes are screwed up in this. I did some quick test recordings before doing this, and it just looked like the microphone was more quiet than it should have been, so I turned that up, turned the game volume down. So I don't know how good it sounds. Hopefully it's okay. Oh no, my controller disconnected. Whatever shall I do? Miss first gear, that's what I'll do. One thing I know I'm gonna miss right away with my new wheel is the stiffness of these pedals, because I put some stiffer springs in them earlier this year and they've felt so much better since. Oh no! Oh! Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, that just made this race a little more interesting. <laughs> oh god, I'm all out of rhythm now. Uh, editing Wolf, you can cut that out, right? What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah, I stiffer springs in my pedals. So they're a lot better feeling. <laughs> I think at some point I can... Upgrade my new pedals. That won't be for a while. I'm gonna let you get a little bit ahead. Slingshot past you down the street. Yoink. Bye. Hopefully I don't go off at the Porsche curves again. I give these full-time YouTubers credit being surrounded by so many lights. I'm are already starting to make it a lot warmer in here, and I've got the air conditioning on. This will be a nice workout nonetheless. Every day is leg day in an old Group C car. I feel like this would have done a lot better as a stream, but... I don't know how to set up any of that yet, plus... I don't know how well I'd do in front of a live audience. So, video it is. Oh man, it's lonely up here. Maybe I should just crash again and make things interesting. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm already gonna be here long enough. Oh. What am I a second and a half up on my time? Alright, so I've got two laps of fuel left, so I'll come in next lap. I don't know how these guys can talk over three, four hour races like they do. I can barely find enough to talk about for 20 minutes. All my respect to the big sim racing YouTubers out there. That means you, Jimmy. Please tell me they're actually refueling. Oh, good. They actually did fix that bug. Good job, Polyphony. Proud of you. I don't know if my microphone has been picking it up or not, but... These Logitechs like to get really noisy. That's just the nature of them being gear drive wheels instead of belt drive. I remember trying to use go-karts on Project Cars 2 and this thing sounded like it was making popcorn. The gears were so clackety-clack. Despite any flaws these gear drive Logitechs have. As I go off the track, they're a really nice wheel to start off with. They're a good price. They give you a decent feel. Coming in, Jeff. It's... Oh, I didn't want to change tires. Oh well. How long is this pit road? Oh, there we go. Technically could be our only stop of... Yeah, I think if I just... Stay in the leaner mix that could get away with that being our only stop. Man, who needs a gym membership when you can just go out and get a sim racing rig? This would be more worth your money than a gym membership if you ask me. 
It feels like an eternity since I've done one of these endurance races. That downshift probably would have made the engine go boom IRL, but this is a video game. You don't have to worry about that. Unless it's F1 2021. Where you can have three straight engine failures. Or more. A friend of mine should know that very well. <laughs> oh, uh oh. You didn't see anything. Yeah, this would have made a much better live stream. I'm not a streamer. Maybe one day I'll mess around with it, but not now. If anybody ever tries to claim that racing doesn't require any sort of physical demand, they're wrong. I'm just in a video game, and this is already wearing me out after 40 minutes. Almost there, just 18 more minutes. It's about six more laps. Maybe five. Oh god, I'm knocking my microphone around. Can you still hear me? Okay, everything seems fine. I set up a recording, this is kind of not ideal. It's the best I can do with what I have. If it works, it works. Okay, I think this lap I'll come in and throw some mediums on. Put a little extra fuel in. Let's really charge until the end. Just gotta make sure I don't accidentally put hard tires on again. Oh, second place came in. Oh yeah, I'm definitely coming in this lap. Yep, I'm definitely coming in with that kind of gap to second now. I love endurance racing, but... It takes a soul on you. I'm probably not gonna want to be in this rig again <laughs> after this. That being said, I do hope 24-hour races come back in GT7. I hope a lot of things come back in GT7. Anyone else hype for GT7? Because I know I am. now. Oh. He came in anyway. I could have filled the tank another time before they got to me. Let's try to steal back that fastest lap. Am I close enough to get your slipstream? I'm down to the second, second chicane. I might be able to get him. Or I'll just sniff out from half a mile away. That's fine. for the boost. <laughs> Go back to lean so I can finish the race. I just wanted that fastest lap. So under three laps of fuel. About a lap and a half to go. I think we're fine. And I missed fourth gear again. Okay. Last lap starts with a fail. It's the final lap, nonetheless. Whew. Hopefully I don't pull a Toyota and the car just dies one lap to go. Oh, third place is pitting again. And fourth. It's another issue with the AI I hope they fix. They don't ever seem to have any sort of strategy for these races. They just go until they can't go anymore and then they pit. Oh no, is that the other 787? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh. Well, let's see if I can catch up to him and then not miss my gears. 
There it is, final lap. Oops. Again. Come on, buddy, let me pass. Man, that was a workout. All right, so that was an hour at Le Mans with the 787B. That was that was actually a lot more fun than I remember. It was a really nice send off for this wheel. Just, I've had this thing almost three years. I've loved it ever since. I've done a lot of mods to it, kind of made it my own. But it's time to move on to something else. So, farewell, old friend. You've served me well. the next step. Oh, this isn't going as well as I thought it would. You get the idea. That's the next step. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. <sighs> Time for a new chapter, I guess. With that, hope to see you in the next one. See ya.